Without question, the single most healthful way to eat that we have seen throughout the world is a diet called the Mediterranean diet. I know you've heard about it. You probably have heard that maybe even some of the ingredients that you normally use are Mediterranean style ingredients, but what exactly is the Mediterranean diet? As you can see here on the Mediterranean pyramid, this looks a little different from the typical American diet pyramid. At the bottom, there are cereals, uh, grains, bread, pasta, rice, potatoes. And then as you move up the, py the pyramid, you'll see that more use is made of vegetables and fruits than we find in our pyramid. And a whole section on oil, particularly olive oil, smaller amounts of cheese and yogurt, fish. And what you don't see a lot of are red meats, small amounts of sweets at the top of the pyramid. If you look at the typical Mediterranean diet foods, you'll see some foods that we have in this country and in the United States and we make regular use of and some that we don't. For example, breads and pasta, but couscous and polenta, we eat a little bit of, not as much. You'll see that olives are the main type of fruit along with tomatoes. Vegetables, some that are similar to, us, to the ones that we use and others that are a bit more esoteric, a bit different. We have to look for them. Legumes and nuts are, are very frequently used in Mediterranean foods. Fish, poultry, and again, red meats, only a small amount. Now, why is it that the Mediterranean diet is such a healthful diet? Well, it comes down to a number of really key studies. On this slide, you'll see four of those studies. But the real important one that began in 1986 was an Ansel Keys study from the University of Minnesota School of Public Health. What Keyes did was he followed nearly 13,000 randomly selected men from seven countries, the United States, Japan, Italy, Greece, the Netherlands, Finland, and Yugoslavia. And what he found was, particularly in the Mediterranean regions of the world, Greece and Italy, where vegetables, grains, fruits, beans, and fish were the main ingredients, heart disease was found to be rare. But in those countries where people filled their plates with meats and cheese, and other foods high in saturated fat, such as the United States and particularly Finland, the rates of heart disease would be, were very high. We follow that with another study, a famous study in the Journal of the American Medical Association called the Hale Project. We found that after 10 years of looking at mortality from all ca causes, the number one factor that was associated more than any other factor with a person's mortality was this, adherence to a Mediterranean diet. It ranked even above alcohol use, physical activity, and smoking. So what we're beginning to see is that the Mediterranean diet has something in it. It's not particularly healthy in, in every sense of it, but it, there is something about its ingredients that appear to be protective. There's nothing magical about it, but something that science is beginning to show us is effective at preventing against certain diseases that lead to mortality. Three things I'd like to focus on today. First, wine. Believe it or not, wine is healthful. We know that it increases high-density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol that you have in your body, but it also slows the production of a chemical that can produce and bring about the first step toward heart disease, endothelin-1. In addition, you'll see in this slide, there is a 57% lower risk of lung cancer in those people who regularly drink moderate amounts of wine and there's a 50% chance uh, of or developing prostate cancer in those folks who, who drink, uh, in those men who drink eight glasses of wine per week. In addition to that, we find that even when rats are given wine, it prevents weight gain, doesn't add to weight gain. The particular variety that seems to be the most potent at preventing, at having the most resveratrol, which is the ingredient we believe is the antioxidant that helps wine do this, than any other wine is Cabernet Sauvignon, the reddest of all of the wines. The typical use would be five ounces uh, per glass, and, uh, and, and we find that wine buyers, those people who buy wine, uh, typically wind up buying other healthful foods. Olive oil, in addition, is used regularly throughout the Mediterranean um, uh, uh, pyramid and the Mediterranean parts of the world, and we find that they, this also seems to not only protect against cardiovascular disease, but also in one study, lowered blood, uh, blood pressure in individuals and protect against, protected against DNA damage in women. And finally, tomato sauce. You'll know that that's a big part of the Mediterranean diet. Lycopene, the antioxidant within tomato sauce, tends to protect against damage 
to many different parts of the body. The interesting thing about tomato sauce is also that as you cook it, the more viscous it's, it gets, the thicker it gets, it, it doesn't break down the lycopene. It actually enhances the antioxidants within tomato sauce, so it is more healthful as you cook it. As you're going through the, the aisles of the shopping center and you're going through you know, trying to pick out which foods might be the most helpful for you, consider those foods that are high on the Mediterranean diet list, those foods that are at the base of the Mediterranean pyramid. And that means look for olive oils, look for wines, and look for um, even having a glass of red wine once in a while. Tomatoes es essentially uh, are part of the picture. And if you, if you have a chance to get fresh fruits and vegetables, this is what the Mediterranean diet is all about.